a funny, I don't know if it's funny, a little segue. We always joke about Steven Crowder being gay. And obviously it's not nice to speculate about people's sexuality, which, you know, I agree with. It's just because of how he's like, vo uh, vocally like against it, right? Dude, he's, he's like a really deeply religious Christian and he does, he's on all this like grooming, mm -hmm. trans people, like gay people, grooming. don't say gay. He's on all this super homophobic, yeah. super transphobic shit. And it was been a running gag, but actually I saw this clip for the first time. I even sent it to Hassan. Mm -hmm. I was like, have you seen this shit? And he had not seen it and he was Sometimes freaking out to too. <laughs> now. Oh my God. Again, I'm showing this not not to um, not to goof on the man because uh, I, I think he needs to come out and be like. Imagine if Crowder came out, how joyous his life would be. That would be really something for society. And he could be a gay. He could be a gay icon. He could do so much good. He could be. He could be a gay icon. He also has like bear status. He's pretty big. His heart. He has a weak heart, so he probably need to. Probably need to be gentle with him, but that he's a tender lover and people like that too. Dave Rubens and a married gay guy. Yeah, well, I'm not talking about him, Jordan. Uh, I'm talking about Crowder. I know it, it upsets you. But here is Crowder from a couple of years ago having a surprisingly candid moment with his audience. Sometimes you have to make hard decisions and sometimes you think you have to make hard decisions and it's just wrong. I'm afraid of that. Uh, I'm afraid of... I'm afraid, frankly, that he used to have a bad temper. I'm afraid of it coming back. I'm afraid of Mr. Hyde rearing his ugly bisexual head. That was a, sm that was a short phase. Um, no, I'm, I'm afraid. <laughs> that afraid is of, afraid literally not a joke. Getting angry. That's, Wait, can you re I know, it's, it's, rewind it's it? It's so surprising. What does he say, He's Mr. Talk or what? So, Jack, you know, Miss ja Dr. Jacqueline and M Mrs. Hyde? Okay, yeah. Mr. Hyde, it's like the, the, the story of this doctor who invents a potion and then it turns him into a woman okay. and, and then a man so it's so like referring split to himself, personality though. yeah 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 he's referring sometimes to himself. you have to make hard decisions is and that sometimes story? huh is that the story <laughs> i need double check isn't he, he, he turns to a monster oh i was thinking <laughs> yeah that one you have no idea. i was thinking bro, How he's trans, no there oh my god bro there was like some 90s comedy <laughs> you're thinking of a j station video <laughs> You're thinking of the gay potion. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, I literally think there was like a 90s comedy. What the <laughs> yeah, this one. Bro, why did I, why did this consult my mind? Mrs. Look at this shit. Yeah, this was it, man. Wait. <laughs> this is the movie. I swear to God. Dr. Jekyll and Mrs. Hyde. Huh. Sonic.exe, guys. This is from 1995. And, and this, you're, you're this, the only person this that saw this to movie. <laughs> I know, what the fuck? It's crazy. Yeah, I don't know, I don't even remember anything about it. So there it is, a great, great film. I guess it hit me with, oh yeah, so check this out. This was the fan's response to it, because mm -hmm. his live chat. I is, gotta watch it again, though. Yeah, 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 here. You think you have to make hard decisions, and it's just wrong. I'm afraid of that. Uh, I'm afraid of, I'm afraid, frankly, that he used to have a bad temper. I'm afraid of it coming back. I'm afraid of Mr. Hyde rearing his ugly bisexual head. That was a, sm that was a short phase. Um, no, I'm, I'm afraid. afraid wow. Of, afraid so, of like, not a joke. In fact, so much so that this is the live chat. And this is sad. This is very sad. And this explains why, you know, he, he is not embracing his, um, the part of him that loves to, kiss and touch and and fondle and be loved and love a, a man is it really real that's that is really sad well read the chat he says he's he looks at this person shame on crowder for being bisexual he said he's bisexual crowder's disgusting god did you just say your bisexual phase is that a joke did crowder just admit to having a bisexual phase Did you just say you fear your bisexual se self coming back like you had sex with a guy? Wow. Did you honestly ex <laughs> yeah, so did you honestly expect an answer beyond fingers and ears la 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 male bisexual is not real sentiment? Shame on you Crowder. The Bible says it is an abomination, Lord. 
what you did. Shame on you for being Damn. bisexual. So this is why, and this is this is actually really sad. It is. I actually feel bad. Um, and he is religious, and I guess he has a religious upbringing. So this man cannot be who he wants to be. He cannot. That's crazy that he said that openly, like. And that his fans suck so much. Yeah, I know. That's it. Yeah. Like, if the reaction was different and yeah. more encouraging, maybe he would talk about it more. Yeah, I wonder, because it's still up on his channel. It's not like mm -hmm. he, he didn't cut took it. it away, but he's never talked about it again. Yeah, it's sad, and it's also interesting. Uh, in a, it's really because, interesting. Because he's, you know. So hateful. So hateful. Yeah. But this is what happens when you make content like this. It's you garner these hateful little trolls, or goblins that just fucking yeah. they judge you. You know what I mean? What happened to Judge Not? Whoa. These people, the most judgeful, mo judgeful motherfuckers in the world, bro. We should have a Pride Minute for Crowder. Before we do that, yeah, something very interesting that may <laughs> I'm looking into it now. But he voiced Brain on Arthur, and Brain had a part where he sung. Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Miss, Mr. Hyde. Coincidence? He did a voice what? in Arthur? He did a voice on Arthur, yeah. Yeah, I what? know that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. He, well, that character sung Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde in one of the episodes. Okay. Uh -huh. What does it mean? The plot thickens. I mean, we were just talking about Crowder and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I don't know, maybe maybe he suggested that... that he inserted a little bit yeah. of his own flavor into mm -hmm. the character. Maybe he saw the 1995 flick, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Side. <laughs> that could be it. All right, we need to have a prime minute for 